This video is for everybody that's interested in the results of my uh, Lincoln Wear Shield 15 CRMN butter layers with uh, the Studi self hardening top layer anvil repair. Um, one of the uh, things that I think I've I've discovered uh, when you know, doing this repair is I did this anvil as well as the Soderfers Sweden over here which had horrible edges somebody really uh, fucked those up but uh, one of the discoveries that I found is that I wasn't work hardening the 15 CRMN hard enough because the gentleman that I spoke to, the studio tech, uh, Frank, stated that uh, I shouldn't work hard in something like a butter layer. So uh, he was a little bit worried about this anvil because I had peened it a little bit for about an hour to no, uh, you know, no real, what do you call it, uh, success. But with this right here, I laid down the 15 CRMN and then did the uh, Studi self-hardening over that and then I beat the hell out of it. And so far, you know, as far as the end product is concerned, it's very, really nice. Like, it, it's really lively. It took some pretty uh, significant blows when I was, uh, you know, stewed, uh, self, we call it, uh, work hardening it with the self hardening over the 15 CR MN. This one, on the other hand, came out a little soft and um, sort of frustrated on that, but I came, come to find out that when I'm hitting it with a three pound sledgehammer, it's starting to really. Uh, harden up almost as much as the uh, Sodifers over there. Um, I've still got a, a little bit to go. Um, I've noticed in the one area that I did work harden, like we're talking you know, nice significant hammer blows, uh, I'm getting a rebound of about 80% to 85%. Um, the rod itself, though, is uh, significantly hard. I don't know if you can uh, see this, but this is a brand new uh, Harbor Freight Hammer, and it's it's taken a beating since I've uh, started peen hammering or peen hardening uh, these anvils. So it goes to prove that the uh, the rod itself is is significantly hard. Uh, it just needs to be uh, work hardened like a, a champ as opposed to you know the oh this is gonna work hard in it. No, it's not gonna work hard in it. You're talking and that's when I'm getting the good results out of the ball bearing test. Other than that, as is without work hardening it, it is soft. Particularly on the uh, on the face portion. The edges on the other hand I was able to uh, you know work those much like Sodifers or, or Sodifers and uh, yeah uh, much better result uh, seems to be a much better end product very lively um, I can't really affirm that it's a better process than the Gunter method because you know, as welded, his uh, method is said to be better. I mean, uh, it's as welded, I believe it's like 53 Rockwell C. Um, no need for work hardening. This, on the other hand, you got to work harden it for pretty much the same results. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in the long run, but hopefully I'll, uh, I'll be able to I'll keep you up to date on the progress report. You know, as this starts to get work hardened uh, to the point where it's it's 
you know, to my liking or to my standard as far as hardness is concerned. Um, the sod furs, though, is just, I'm pretty impressed with, uh, you know, the end product there. I was actually quite happy. Um, that's, uh, that's that.